Okay, so this is our suite at the Five Palm Jumeirah. This is actually day five and we're about to leave and I have 400 files on my camera so I'm filming this on my phone. There's the vanity when you walk in. We asked for a microwave for our leftovers and of course they brought one that has a mirror on the front of it. There's the sofa and the table. And over here is your little corner with your refrigerator and your little mini bar. Out here is the first balcony. So this is where we're at the corner, but basically on the other side, on the eighth floor, and there's your view of Golden Mile. So here's the closet. You open these little panels up and there's shelf space. And then somewhere in here. There were robes in there, but we took them down and used them. And then here is the bathroom, gold and marble theme. So this is the gold bathtub. I didn't even see this, but when you look up here, there's a mirror so you can watch yourself bathe, I guess. So this is your soap that you get from the hotel and it's actually Ferragamo. So I guess I'm gonna take some home as a souvenir. This is the bathroom. So here you have your toilet and then your bidet, which is for your bottom. And then the shower is kind of interesting. There's a fountain head, but you have to hold this thing here and spray yourself. So you lift this up and the water comes out, which makes it kind of hard to shave your legs, but. Here's your vanity mirror to check out your outfit. Another TV. And then our last balcony. So this is the one with the lounge chairs. And then your other view of the city over your glass bar. So this is the Five Palm Jumeirah Junior Suite. And here's the hotel lobby. And the pool. And there are your sheiks. So we made it to the beach, but we're like the only people here. So we're about to jump in the water and be the only people in the water. <laughs> okay. So today's cars of Dubai, we have the Snow Patrol series, the White Range, White Porsche, and the White G-Wagon. So we're at the Dubai Mall. It's extremely dusty and hot, but hopefully there's some good food in here. This is a new level of heat. You don't see this in Texas.
there's the ice rink. Multi-store visit? You can do the plus sign if you want the Gucci, I guess. <laughs> and add it on. How do we just like look it? Look it up. So add more. We want to go to the Gucci store too. So that's everything. Generate what? Shortest visit? It's going to give us the shortest route. Then go to two and three, and maybe we'll have covered all the stores. There are the red bottoms. So we're in the under tunnel aquarium. They got sharks, stingrays, huge fish. Oh. 
There's a group. Look at these teeth on these sharks. to the male shark and inject it to the female shark. And it takes three months to know if the process is successful or not. The second laboratory we have here is we're doing the blood test here when the animal is sick. We're also doing the animal autopsy here to know the cause of their death. Also, we are analyzing the water chemistry here and the parameter standards, okay? Let's proceed to this page over here. So if, uh, this cage will go down 5 meters below and then they're doing the target feeding of the shark. So this is also used for scuba diving, for a snorkeling and shark walker, uh, the special activities here in the aquarium, only in this cage, okay, we do that. So let's proceed to the breeding area this time. I want to show you some baby sharks and baby stingrays. Oh my God! 
everything in Dubai. I don't even know how many floors it is. I think that's the park, like the Zabil Park, they said, yeah. Conquering my fears. Here's the view 
of the city. There's Sheikh Zayed, the father of the nation. Our left side, you see the JBR, Jumeirah Beach, President. It's a public beach. You won't see rangers, people, banana boats, and so on. And you can't go to Syria. And our right side, you see the construction running. It's called Blue Water Island. What's the name of it? Blue Water Island. Blue Water Island. Oh, man. They make it. Uh, they make it now. Uh, Try to swim. Like a London Eye. Oh, like a London Eye. Yeah, so this might be the trendy mall for the fashionistas. Here's Top Shop. Petite section. Section dedicated to Calvin's. The Sierra effect, I guess. So here's the ski resort that we just left from. I think the temperature said negative four degrees Celsius. Crazy. Sean Perry is my guest. So cute. here at the Jumeirah Mosque in Dubai. Probably. 
because I've seen him in several stuff. And all of his like videos like yeah. the founders of UAE. That's kind of cool. So they have items that belong to each person. Here we have some Carrera glasses. And then like Beyonce said, this is a Patek Philippe watch on the left. You can't see what those are. That's cool, his passport. Traditional attire. A clock and an old school watch. Telephone, I mean. Passport. Oh, he sent his weapons. Nineteen fifty three. So Sheikh Zayed was born in nineteen eighteen. Nineteen eighteen. The like the granddaddy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the one he's probably not alive anymore. Great granddaddy, probably at this point. I know it's a really nice museum. So, this is the father of the nation, first president of UAE, Sheikh Zayed. And his son is in power right now. He passed away 14 years ago. So Sheikh Zayed grew up to lead the country. I don't think it's Los Angeles. It's probably Moscow. Moscow, because they were just in. Oh no, oh, Los Angeles. Who knew? Oh, 1984, probably, because I was thinking about. It. I think they were in the. Can US. you recognize it in these old photographs? Can you what? Recognize the Abu Dhabi Cornage. I don't know what that is. What is that? Mm. Well, it's like the Lions Fountains, parks, and restaurants. Most popular thing here. Let me guess this. Oh, oh, it's this. The Abu Dhabi Cornage. 
match each sheik with his emirate. Uh, Zayed is, uh, Abu Dhabi. is this Zayed? Mm -hmm. Okay, Zayed goes to Abu Dhabi. And I think he goes to Dubai. Okay, and then we'll put him here. I think you got him right. Look at you. Is that it? One point three trillion, dang. I was seeing the sights of the world in the Grand Mosque. Thought they were talking to me. Second, look at on the wall. At the moment, we feel like we are in the garden, right? You know, the architect, they give, they did their plans. They give us like 3D view of this marble. These all are marble. There's no paint. They are inlaid basically in the wall. They like, oh, they are sunny creatures from marble. Sunny creatures from marble. They are a little bit bored from the wall. Like, we can easily feel them. It's like, uh, they give life to the marble in simple words. So this one? Is that chandelier has a mansion in the bus? No. The native names of the 
Allah Almighty, the God Almighty. Come, I will read for you guys. Allah in the circle. The Allah Almighty. Some others? Al Adil, Al Malik, Al Quddus, Al Salam, Al Mumil, Al Mutakabir, Al Malik, Al Tufar, Al Rahman, Al Rahim, and so on. The meaning. These are in Arabic, so in the meaning, the translation. The creator of the universe, the majesty, the highness, the supreme power, the provider, the forgiver. So these are the qualities or the alternative names of the Allah Almighty. And I use Al with everyone. In English, I, I believe you guys notice I use the. So like Al, in English we use the, like helping word or present the word. So in Arabic we use A L Al. Why? You know, out of six, one is optional prayer and five are compulsory. The optional prayer is on the two o'clock direction, 5.48, Shuru. This one is a morning prayer we mostly skip because it's optional. It's compulsory, which we must have to pray. At the time of sunrise, 427 Fajr, the first prayer of the day. At the time of sunrise. Second, noon prayer, Zohar, 30. This one, afternoon prayer, Asr, which is 340, 350. Maghrib, at the time of sunset, 717, 710, like that. At the time of sunset, Maghrib, the last prayer of the day, Isha, 830, 835, something like that. So it's a night prayer. So these five compulsory prayer, we use these both in order. Male prayer hall, ladies prayer hall. This hall only in the Friday for this prayer. Yeah, it's finally hitting me. Zayed in his younger days looks just like Drake. Tell me he doesn't. That's the palace they show in the Sex in the City movie, Past and Furious 6, Past and Furious 7, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, and Welcome Back. That's the palace they show in that movie. It's looked like a gold mine from inside. You know guys, a surprise, that's the time to share a surprise with you guys. You guys can see the tourists enjoying photographs from the bus stop before we were doing the same. But today, you know what kind of surprise we have for you guys? Can I have our car? Sure. <laughs> okay, this way. Before we go after, you guys want to enjoy this tea or big coffee? Dawa. You want? Must try that. So these are the towers where they jumped off the cars in Furious 7 from building to building. So it looks like they all signed that hat right there. So guys, enjoy this coffee and enjoy my breaking as well. You know who they are?